Bell Ali has been charged with violent conduct and could face up to three games banned, meaning that he is going to sit out for the rest of the season and he may need to sit by and watch Leicester City go on and win the Premier League. Come on, you foxes. I'm not a fan, but I just want them to win it. And I said to Jason, by the way, um, no bias here. Only Tottenham or Leicester could, at the end of the season, lift that trophy and feel fully content and everyone around them should just applaud because they're the only two teams that deserve it for me. But Tottenham... Their journey towards, uh, I would say, closing the gap on Leicester is now going to be a little bit tougher because their star player, the young player of the year, Dele Ali, did this against Jacobo yesterday uh, in their game against West Brom and is probably definitely going to face uh, some punishment over it. Take a look. Robbie, could he be in trouble? Yes, he could be in trouble because, as you see, the referee is not looking at it. This is going to... So the referee, Mike Jones, couldn't see. Uh, he was looking at the ball, couldn't see exactly what happened, but this happens a lot in football. Nothing goes unseen anymore. There is cameras everywhere. Dele Ali showcasing that he's still a, still naive, still a young player. Everyone makes mistakes, but you just can't do that. It looked like he went from a the most mature player in England at certain times, so mature on the ball, to a high schooler on the field trying to give his mate a dick punch. Well, it's not the only time. I mean, well, it's, not, it's the only time we've seen him do a dick punch. And I like or how dick punch. people say it's a gut punch. You know, if you're getting that close. To me, it's a dick punch. I'm going to find my article while you continue to talk about Deli Ali. Oh, that I was waiting for you to find it. With there it is. Found it, Francis. Nice. Uh, Spurs Deli Ali charged with violent conduct over uh, Claudio Jacob punch. Uh, so the quote I had for you guys is not the first time that Ali has landed himself in hot water this season. He was lucky to escape punishment throwing a ball in the face I of Sunderland that. defender. Could you give me one more time? Sunderland. Oh, they look. And that, by the way, that wasn't uh, an insult to Sunderland. That was just an insult to Arsenal. One time. Just. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Van Anholt of Sunderland in January, the same month the Crystal Palace manager, Alan Pardew, accused him of stamping on Johan Kabaya. In February, he seemed to drag his feet over an opponent's back against Fiorentina in the Europa League. Uh, so, okay, he's young. Yes. We see this with young players across every sport in the history of sports. They make immature decisions. Sometimes it seems like their uh, emotions get the better of them, mm -hmm. right? Still no excuse. Still a major blow to Tottenham. Because they are, look, who knows, right? Leicester deserves the title. They so deserve the title. What if they drop points? Yeah, that's it. What if Tottenham gains points? There's three matches left. We've seen crazier, have we not? Or yeah. Leicester goes out, wins it. And then who does Leicester play after to get the Chelsea. guard of honor? Yeah. Claudio, Ranier Claudio <laughs> Ranieri's former club. What a day that would be for him. If there was ever to be a wet dream of a day, that would be it. Yeah, but Tottenham deserves to hold their head hold their head high. Oh, no doubt. Uh, after a phenomenal season, Harry Kane's going to win me some money. Thank you, Harry Kane. Yes, he will do. But um, so back to Ali. Is he going to face punishment? You, if you're a Tottenham fan, I understand. Your club, you bleed that white. Uh, what do you do? If you bleed white, that, don't get it checked yeah, out. But uh, if you bleed for your club, you have to just still be completely objective at times and just seek and, and see that you punch the guy. He's not going to get away with Around that. the dick. Around the area. Even that. And he, he by the way, his excuse, I, I like him as a player, but his excuse is exactly what a 20-year-old in trouble would say. I, he punched me first. <laughs> he, he hit me first. I was just retaliating. So this <laughs> leaves a further uphill struggle because he's definitely an influential player. One point that I haven't seen a lot of articles touch on, and this is why we are separate, and this is why we wear pinstripe suits, because we know we can make these points and have great points put out there, is that, this is very, uh, it's, I think it's a harsh reminder to me his age and also could be a red flag for the Euros. Why? Because who else played in a, a major competition for England and although he seemed very mature and this was even older into his years but cost the team a vital game, Wayne Rooney, stamping on a Portugal player, Cristiano Ronaldo, claimed to have got him sent off. Oh, the referee! I mean, he would have been sent off anyway. He stamped on a guy's balls, basically. So Wayne Rooney showcasing again that at that point, he was still immature despite playing beyond his years. These things happen with young players. These ha things happen with young English players. I'm not just blaming English players for everything, but it really, I, I, I feel that when you're given that much confidence and you're given that much, uh, I would say, ability to thrive and go on and be the star that he is, you have to watch that line. Because if you go between the line of being overconfident and thinking you can get away with anything then you're going to pay the consequence because football has cameras everywhere. Football is the big brother in the show that just never lets you get anything. You know how many people try to go and do sneaky things, a big brother? Try to plow the girl behind the scene and stuff like that? Nah, it's going to be caught. They're always watching, Jason. Stay tuned for a, a new segment 
Uh, remember the title, Stampin' Balls. <laughs> Stampin' Balls. Punching Balls with Dali Ali. So, yeah. He's always welcome to come on and talk about punching balls and That's talking nice. balls and beers. Comment below. <laughs> Dali Ali, should he be suspended? or yes. Is that the word, suspended? Yes, he's going to be banned. suspended. Banned. Banned. He's already charged. It's just a suspension be, is coming. Okay, so the suspension's coming. What does it mean? Is it just a maturity thing? What does Dali Ali mean for the Euros? What does Dali Ali mean for Tottenham? My God, you have so much to talk about. Start typing away. At Francis underscore Maxwell on Twitter. At Francis Maxwell host on Instagram, at ChaseDruby91 for both, at TYC Sports on the Twitter, and Facebook.com slash TYT Sports. And, of course, we are on Watchable, where you can watch other TYT Network shows, like that of Pop Sugar, like that of Nerd Alert, like that of What the Flick, like that of TYT Interviews, like that of The I want to go! Where? Out! Oh, Watchable.com. See you there.